All right, Medieval Total War. And we're going to go ahead and play Aragon. And this is on expert mode, by the way, so this makes it quite difficult. Pretty much on, um, they can, they pretty much can build resources a lot faster. And they're a lot more aggressive, so they will come after me very quickly. So it's in your best interest to make allies as early as possible. So you can see we just have this little province here. I mean, Spain, you can't see it, but they they own all these provinces over here. France and England also have provinces. provinces. I can't get that out for some reason. Okay. So let's go ahead and we want to... I think the strategy here is we don't want to attack any of the nations. We want to take over these neutral or rebel areas first so we don't go to war with anybody. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and attack Valencia down here to the south. And let's go ahead and raise taxes a little bit. Small chance of rebellion. We don't care. So let's go ahead and, well, wait a minute. We need to build some units. Let's build some archers. And let's go ahead and build a farmland because we need some income. It'll give us 352 income. Not bad. All right. And we invaded. And we're going to win this. I guarantee you. Let's see what happens here. Yep. Took them out. Execute them all. Execute the ringleaders. Release them all. Nope. We're going to get a bad reputation. We're going to go ahead and execute them. We take no prisoners. All right. Let's go ahead and start building this province up. Let's go ahead and add the farmland as well. Let's check out the loyalty. It is very low, so let's lower the taxes. 82%. Okay. And let's go ahead and end the round. Germans are the biggest. Who cares? We'll be bigger than them. We'll be bigger than them in 5,000 years. Probably. All right. Improved farmland is done. Good. Valencia, a famine. That's, that's just wonderful. Okay. Let's see what the... Yep. Loyalty is way down to 47%. We better send some forces down there. So they don't revolt. It's back up to 67%, but that's not, not good. All right, let's go ahead and start adding a watchtower here. That will prevent the spies from wreaking havoc in our province. All right, this is the king's army. Well, loyalty's back up to 114%. That's not bad. Helps when you start building things, right? And let's see what his loyalty is. Three. That's not good. This man's loyalty is in serious question. He probably will cause problems later on, but that's okay. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and raise the taxes. And let's go ahead and start some more building projects. Hopefully, we can get Navarre, too, pretty soon. Just got to get some more forces. After all, we have to hold these places by force for a while while the loyalty is low. Look at that. We got a four-star prince. I like that. Good deal. You know, I think we'll have him do the fighting. Why not? Send him over here. And let's send a few other forces with him. So we're going to try to get Navarre as quickly as possible. And the loyalty is at 119%, so he can afford to send a few more even. Let's just send him over there. And let's go ahead and start some more building projects in Valencia. Keep that going. And let's end the round. We're doing well here. Nobody's attacked us yet. But you can see the uh, Alamahads are starting to get larger down there. Look, they already have a fortified castle. We just got wood, a wood fort. Oh, well. Beggars can't be choosers. I think we're almost ready. Maybe a few more rounds. Two more units and we'll go attack Navarre. Let's end the round. We now have a significant number of generals who don't like us. That's fine. 
England has sent an emissary. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and accept that offer. So is Hungary. Wow. And the Holy Roman Emperor. Look at this. It's good to try to get as many friends as you can. It's always good. Let's check the provinces here. We got units. We're building. And we're building. Oh, no. Spain took Navarre. Now, that that that's a problem. Yeah, we didn't like that. I was hoping to expand, and look at that. They just caused a whole slew of problems for my strategy. But that's okay. We're going to stop building units because we don't want to pay for them. Well, let's see how much these are. 37 support costs. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll back off on them for a while. Let's take a look at the treasury here and see how we're doing. Projected income, 668. Projected profits, 236. All right. That's fine. We'll just hold steady for a while. Farmland, 40%. You know what I think we're going to do? So we can get as much money as possible. We're going to go ahead and start destroying some of these units. This might not make a lot of sense, but... I want to maximize profits here. So we're just going to get down to the bare minimum. Maybe another one. Just to keep them a little honest from attacking us, we'll, we'll go ahead and go all income early on here because we're not really in a position where we can attack anybody. All right, there we go. Try to build up those florins early. We're going to go all money. 672, that's what we got. Dirt poor. Yep, we know the Germans are the biggest. Insufficient funds, yep, I know I'm poor. Two of your allies have engaged... In hostilities, this is always difficult. Hopefully the French hold them off. Since the French are closer, we'll go ahead and stay friends with them. That might be a mistake, but we'll see. I'm going to even get rid of some more support costs here. And let's get rid of this guy. Alright, we are down to the bare bones minimum here. We'll see how this works out. Hopefully nobody attacks us. If they do... It's game over. Okay, we got another sun coming. Good. Hopefully we can get this uh, other farmland going in. We did. All right. Good deal. We're up to a thousand florins. King of Aragon has died. Oh no, that's our guy. And, of course, everybody doesn't like that, so they're going to revolt. That's fine. He's got five loyalty. That means he's he's okay. Let's go ahead and keep our king here. And let's marry... I don't think this is a prince anymore. No, it is. But let's go ahead and marry this guy off anyways. May I suggest it an inappropriate... Or, oh, okay, forget it. No inappropriate relationships. Byzantines are doing well. They're always doing well, by the way. They expand so fast. They're going to be a nightmare later on. Nobody will stop them. That's the way it goes. And I think we got enough for the final farmland, which will give us quite a bit. 590. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. That Spanish guy is going to be difficult to beat with a seven-star... Well, his king's seven-star general. Yeah, that's that's not good. We're just a lowly four. Oh, well. We'll get there. Ruler's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep going here. We want to get these guys these provinces built out. I'm really upset I couldn't get to that third province, though. That can actually... 
that can that might be a huge problem going forward. Because I was hoping to hoping to get at least three, but two, it's gonna be difficult to win this game with just two provinces. Germans are getting big. Okay, so let's just keep building here. I think what we're going to do is start to ex build some castles, too. Need some defense in case we get attacked. I mean, these guys are all bigger than us, so we have a significant number. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's probably this guy right here. Yeah, two. Wow, he doesn't like... Isn't that funny? The prince doesn't like the king. Those guys are costing us money, too. Those princes. I don't even want to look at the support costs. Emissary from... Yeah, why not? We'll marry away. It's fine. You try to be friends with everybody early on. It's a good idea. Especially in expert mode, because nobody... Uh, you're just too... Everybody's stronger than you are. Do we want to remain allied with the French? Yeah, I think we're going to remain allied with the French. This will cancel. No, the French are going to war with a lot of people, that's for sure. Okay, we got our... I think we got this maxed out, this tier here. So now, let's start building some spearmen. We're going to need some really awesome units if we want to expand, and it looks like we're going to have to declare war on somebody here. I don't know who, but... Germans are excommunicated. Oh, no. Okay. Probably for attacking the Pope. Never a good idea. When you attack the Pope, your loyalty... Well, if you're a Christian nation, the loyalty just... It just goes way down. Boy, the French are getting... Kind of making me nervous up here. Spearman completed good. That's a lot of... Uh, I wouldn't be able to stop that at all. Oh, well. We just got to pray that they stay loyal. But it looks like we picked the right side. That's the other key. You want to make sure you're picking the winners, not the losers. So I think we're, yeah, we're allies with them. Wow, look at all those princes. They haven't come of age yet, but they're coming. Emissaries there. That's good. Making 930 florins a year. That's good. And we're friends with France. Not Spain yet. We might have to see if we can get... The Spanish to let's send our emissary over here on a mission. Do you wish to pro propose an alliance? Yes, we do. And let's go ahead and there you can see the spearman's ready to go, but we're not going to build him yet. I like the ground units. Well, wait a minute, there are no air units. Let me let me rephrase that. I like the infantry better than the archers. There, that sounds a lot better. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and build a fort, the wooden fort. There we go. King of France is dead. All right. Put our prince under our king so he's not going to cause any problems. All right, I think that's a good place to uh, end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll just continue on.